So without understanding who you're selling to, how can you expect to convince them to work with you at the price you propose? And I think this is true, Rebecca, with our clients, because a lot of them started off as generalists yes. and they haven't really pinpointed, hey, this is my ideal client. Maybe they're in a specific vertical. Maybe there's a skill set that you're really good at. Uh, let's say you're, you specialize in QSBS stock, uh, setting that up. Those are areas where you need to understand, okay, the, this is the pain points these people have. And now this is the value. This is how I solve the problem. So when you talk to our clients who a lot of times are general, it's kind of how do you get them over that understanding of who, who do you want to focus on? So I think a lot of times it involves a little bit of introspection. Um, I do talk to a lot of people about this and I talk to a lot of people about niching down. That's probably one of the most common topics I discuss with people and just the importance of that, the importance of knowing your demographic, of understanding who you're marketing to. And one thing I have found is that a lot of people have a niche and they don't even realize it. So if you're wondering who is my niche, what am I good at? Look at your clients. You very well may find that you already have a large faction of clients who are in restaurants or the medical field or real estate investing, whatever it may be. You may already have a specialization and you've just never put it together. And Lee hit on this a little bit, but I think it's so important because a lot of these areas require you to have specialized knowledge of that industry. And if you have that, you're already out of the box providing something that no generalist can possibly offer.